Hey Jules. Mm -hmm. Flo Jo clocking in because we are pulling up at Harold's on the rooftop in Houston, Texas. We are going to do brunch and drinks. Today is Saturday, October 23rd. And of course we out on one of our brunch dates. So for the sake of the channel, I'm gonna do my first restaurant review but i do want to include reviews on this channel so we're gonna let this be our first initial review on i believe his hair is on the rooftop but i'm gonna confirm this this the video i know out outfit of the day epic fail and i have no booty nothing poking out okay Walk-in area is pretty empty in here so far. I guess we pretty early. I don't know why I thought Harold's was black, but this is the bar. Yeah, connect five. Connect five, yeah. <laughs> so what's this here? They got your sanitizer. Another sitting area out here. There's a whole strip of things out here. Ice creams over there. There's the place. Okay, so I normally don't like doing voiceovers because my voice gets so low and groggy after I'm talking for a while or pretty much instantly I start sounding like a dude. But um, anyway, been like that all my life. This is the wine. Um, I'm doing the voiceover because I don't want to have copyright music, even though I don't know what they're playing. I'm quite sure it's copyright, but it looked like they specialize in wine, as you can saw the bar over there. And then this is their upstairs part. <laughs> don't judge me, y'all. At this point, I'm ready to take this hot ass mask off, honestly, and um, just get outside so I can breathe. Look at that. How it's sucking in and out. Can't breathe. Oh, sorry, y'all. I'm having a drink too. Oh, excuse me. But, um, yeah, they had so many cocktails, so many different drinks, so many different wines. We had no idea where to start. As you can see, it's just so many different names. So, of course, we went with something where, where we tried the um, Purple Bubbly. Um, but we had the Purple Bubbly, which had Prosecco and um, vodka in it, which was like kind of too light for us. But um, we shared a little bit of it and I did get, you know, get a little bu quick buzz off of it. And then I went ahead and got the, um, what did I get? Um, oh, the old fashioned because we normally like to get the old fashions everywhere because it's straight whiskey, straight bourbon with a little bit of orange peel, and um, it gets you what they go to purple bubbly right there. And see, that's what I got stolen ex old fashioned. I got and then Bay got the purple bubbly, and we shared both of them so she could see what their old fashioned version was, and I could see what the purple bubbly tastes like. So, these the two we got right there. Okay, so I honestly just went ahead and decided to do a voiceover. And that's what I'm actually talking about while you see me talking in the video. Because they got music playing outside, even though it was low, I don't want to be copyrighted. So y'all already know how that go. So I was just pretty much saying that I was trying to refrain from getting irritated because it had been over five minutes past and we did not have a waiter come over to at least get us some water and fix us a drink. So, I just don't feel like that's good customer service. Like, y'all know we sitting over here, you know. And honestly, also what I was saying, but they wasn't that busy. Well, I'm assuming from what we could see, they was they didn't look that busy to where we had to sit there over five minutes. But, okay, that's a strike against them. And y'all can talk about my wig and how it's looking up under my hat all you want to. Because, yes, I got this stone on here. And the hat is the only thing holding it down. Ain't nobody glued nothing. So, okay, here is the 
entree and appetizer menu y'all bear with me on my review videos i'm already new to youtube i'm already trying to find different content that i can provide for my viewers and um bear with me for every different type of content i come out with it's gonna be choppy and ghetto but just bear with me I don't mind a little ghetto because I'm being real and authentic, but at the same token, I do want it to make sense and I want it to, you know, be presentable. But anyhow, I'm showing right here the sides. Um, every time we go to a brunch place, I always get shrimp and grits because I love my shrimp and grits. If you haven't been following me or watching me or following my Instagram business page, Louise's Country Kitchen, then you would know that um, I do own a food truck catering business, actually. Um, and we're working on getting a bigger, better food truck because we have that as well. Um, we started out with a small trailer and now we're getting ready to advance to a bigger food truck. Anyhow, or a bigger food trailer. Haven't really decided yet. But, um, oh, I'm just now seeing they had roasted quail. I've always wanted to try quail. Anyhow, I don't want to try the quail because I just got it. It was like, now that I'm doing the voiceover and the video is over, I can tell y'all that the food was horrible. There was no seasoning. Just wait till we get to the food, vid, the food part. Anyhow, I just wanted to do this um, screen recording so that my viewers can see the menu um, and what they have to offer in case somebody is here in Houston or somebody already lives here wants to go and try it out for themselves. So I just want, you know, they do got fried chicken and waffles. They got Benedict's. They got even a Creole crab Benedict right there. Um, so my reviews are just my review, my opinion. I would still want you guys to go anywhere that I review if you want to. If you're a tourist and you're visiting Houston or you live here and never been somewhere that we review, then definitely go try it out for yourself. So that's why I will continue showing you guys the menu and then also giving you my take on the food, customer service, all of the above. Okay, so, this is, okay. Okay. That's yours, purple, bubbles, purple bubbly. That's pink. And then I got the... Uh, XO fashion with orange peel. We've been liking the old fashions um, when we go places. So the old fashioned really be my go-to because I know it's going it's gonna get me what when I it's gonna give me what I need to be gay. <laughs> but um, they say this one is too weak, so she gonna get the old fashioned next. So Bay Drink has a vodka and a prosecco wine in it. So it's um. It got the little fuzz, the carbonation, the carbonation in it, so I like that. And, and then the Prosecco give it a little bite back. She said that she don't feel like it's too weak. She just feel like, basically, we like drinks that's really going to, like, get us to where we trying to go. Um, it, it fast, babe? Or we, like the, we, like the, we like stronger drinks. Is that how you say it? We like the stronger type drinks, not to where, you know, it's real... I don't know how to say it. Y'all know where it's red, it's too light. Cause the one I got, the old fashioned, the brown, it's whiskey. So you know, as soon as you drink a couple sips of whiskey, you can already feel your chest burning, pretty much. And I think that's what we be looking for. Like, I wanna feel the strongness off top. Okay, so basically we did, we did not like the appetizer, which was the wings. They had no flavor. It's like they, they fried them. We chose not to get batter, but they didn't have any other sauces either, just buffalo. So Bay likes barbecue. I like buffalo, but I didn't like these. No seasoning whatsoever. The celery over there, look at the celery. Celery turning brown. That was that was finna get ready to be have to be thrown out in the trash. Whole plate just looked horrible with naked wings and no seasoning. Um, it was horrible. We ate it because we had started drinking and we finna went wouldn't finna waste our food. But the wings were shit, y'all. The chicken literally tasted like they pulled it out from the farm and killed it and dipped it in the fryer and just fried it with nothing. The, um, they got the um, bag. They got the bag for the flies. But them, look, these flies ain't even, these flies ain't even studding that bag of water. You hear me look there? 
They say she gotta pull out her Burberry glasses because it's not, it ain't no sun out here. But she gonna take the shade off. So. Literally. She's so freaking bougie, it's pitiful. <laughs> oh, she way more. I'm not bougie. This is the bougie one. <laughs> what? So this is the rooftop, guys, from where we were. I'm ready to see what this food looking like and tasting like. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Bay was like, don't even show my plate. But I was telling her, like, we have to show the plate. This is the uh, point of doing a review. She was so shamed at how bare her freaking plate looked. Like, then the waitress even came and was like, I don't know why they gave y'all this big plate for this for this one meal. And I was like, it, is, th was it supposed to come with a side of veggie or? And no, that's just what it was. I would not recommend this place. I will never go back here. I did not like my shrimp and grits. Bay trying my shrimp and grits. She didn't like it neither. And we do not recommend Harold's um, restaurant and bar in Houston, Texas in the Heights. Food, flavors, fa flavorless. Um, the people is not diverse. They look at you up and down. They look, look at you like you're not supposed to be there. And if you in if you in Houston and come to Harold's on the rooftop, make sure you got good tires because they got a bunch of goddamn uh, potholes and ragged uh, parking lot. So be careful. This the, the little red up there is cute though. Mm-hmm. <laughs>